In this very short video, I want to show you how you can save a Stata dataset once you have imported your data from a different source, like Excel or TXT or CSV, or even from uh, another Stata dataset. So first, let's browse our data to make sure it's fine. Here you see everything is okay. Let's close this. And we can save a Stata dataset either by clicking this save here, the little floppy disk or file, save, which are the menu ways. You can just click here, save, and it's gonna ask you what name you wanna, how you wanna name it. Here's a DTA file like I told you about. But let's cancel this and let's use a command instead. So let's say save, I wanna save this with the name country small one, underscore one. And then this is an option you should always use, which is replace. So what this is saying is if there is any other data set, state data set named country small one, country underscore small underscore one, you can overwrite that and replace with this new one. So before I do this, let's check our my project folder. You see here, we only have our source files, the Excel, the CSV and the TXT. And once we run this command, we have the file country small one day DTA was not found. So it was created and there was actually no need to use the replace here, but we should use it anyway. And the file country underscore small underscore one dot DTA was saved. If we come back here, we can see we have that file right over here. So let's exit Stata. And if you just click the data set, it's going to open Stata right away and it's going to be there. And that's all for this video. I just wanna make sure you learn to use the command save. And also don't forget the command use when you want to use a Stata data set that is already in DTA format. See you in the next video.